Hello guys. So today we are going to see the project demonstration of a wild animal detection and alert system using uh, deep learning. Actually, this is a, a Python based project, Python and hardware integrated uh, project. So basically the concept of the project is using the webcam or using the cam from the camera. Uh, we need to identify the wild animals and uh, if any uh, dangerous wild animal is detected, we need to give a alert to the particular person or particular people uh, who is living uh, near to that uh, area. So this is the concept. So for this uh, project, uh, we are going to use uh, Python as a front end. So where we are going to uh, uh, access the uh, camera footages using the deep learning techniques and we are going to identify the wild animals. So for uh, identifying the wild animals, we use several algorithms here. So here you can see this is the abstract of the project, uh, which clearly describes about the idea of the project and uh, existing system, proposed system and the introduction part. And uh, coming to that uh, concept. So this is a block diagram. Uh, so here uh, you see, you can see the block diagram. It clearly represents the flow of projects here. So a PC camera was used. So from the camera, we are going to detect what type of, uh, uh, if any animals passes uh, around that uh, camera it will identify whether it is a wild animal or normal animal or whatever human or something will be identified from this camera so the ca image will be captured from the camera then the data processing will be done using the deep learning technique so after data processing it will identify what category of animal it is or what ki kind of uh, object it is then according to the object the instructions will be sent through a uh, UART communication so through the UART communication, a microcontroller was integrated. So the microcontroller will be integrated with other components like GSM, GPS and IoT. Uh, so all are powered up using a power supply unit. So if any wild animal detected, immediately the data processing technique will identify whether it, what type of uh, animal it is. And according to the animal, uh, SMS will be sent. The tiger is detected, elephant is detected. Uh, like that, a alert message was sent to the people who are living around that area and the information will be stored in the IoT so that we can have a future reference and we can have an analysis on which time the uh, animal is coming and what time uh, regularly the animal is coming like that you can able to identify and GPS is used like this uh, entire devices was placed in a specific location the location information will be sent to this GPS so this is the documentation and these are the hardware and software uh, requirements so uh, let us see the demonstration so uh, this is the hardware setup so this is a arduino microcontroller a gsm modem which was connected to the laptop using cp210 so in the laptop a python based software application was developed so uh, now the application was executed using the command So uh, here uh, my developer is showing a wild animals in front of the camera. You can't able to take the entire setup to the real time field. So instead of that, we are just showing a wild animals in front of the camera. So our uh, deep learning method using CNN will identify what type of animal it is. So here you can see in the display that it's a bear like that. So based upon the animals, a GSM, this GSM modem will send an SMS alert to the people who are all nearby with the animal name, uh, with the location, everything. So here you can see that a alert message which was received for, by the user. So this is a GSM modem. Using this modem only we are going to send the data and uh, coming to the report point of view let us see what are all the contents available in the report project report the project report includes uh, 35 pages 
सो यर यू कैन सी हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर डाटा फ्लो डायग्राम क्लास डायग्राम यूजर केस डायग्राम रिलेटेड वर्क्स लिटरेचर रिव्यू मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल डिस्क्रिप्शंस सो इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पाइथन सो जनरल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक्स and here in this project we used to see an uh, algorithm conventional neural network algorithm so the information about the algorithm was given here and conclusion finally the references which were used to get this idea so this is the report content so uh, if you want to develop any kind of projects or if you required this project you can contact our executive and uh, Please subscribe our channel to keep on update. Thanks for watching. Thank you.